Acura Infinity Lexus, the luxury-like brands introduced by mass manufacturers. I get it. In the States, the Japanese wanted to break off from the image of uh, small, cheap car producers. But I completely don't get why these cars get so much buzz in Europe, even with this rather interesting looking Lexus IS300H. The IS could theoretically compete against the big German 3, Audi A4, BMW 3 Series and Mercedes C-Class. Theoretically, because as far as I'm concerned, it's closer to Volvo. It's slightly upmarket from Volkswagen, but is it premium? Regardless of how you classify it, I think Lexus looks interesting. I like the sharp lines, spoilers, inlets, the grille, even if some say the front of the car looks like the Predator. Also on the inside, the designers went quite a long way. The central console looks like a Sony stereo from the 1990s, and the dials change depending on the driving mode. The whole thing is bold, but not very practical. We'll get back to that in a moment. Two adults can sit easily here in the back of the Lexus IS. However, if a third person comes along, he or she will have to deal with this huge transmission tunnel. And the transmission tunnel means this is a rear-wheel drive car. So that's good news. And H in the end behind the 300 means that we're dealing with a hybrid. Hmm. Fortunately, like in the new hybrid Toyota models, also here the batteries are hidden under the rear seat, so you almost lose nothing of the boot space. Almost because in the regular IS you get 480 and in the hybrid version you get 450 liters. In the front, the driving position is adequate. You get buttons over the left knee, on the steering wheel and under your right hand. It seems like a lot, but this test example is equipped, among others, with adaptive cruise control. And you do have to operate it somehow. I'm not a huge fan of this infotainment joystick. Even when its resistance is set too high, it's still too fiddly when the rows are bumpy. And the interface, it looks like it was designed in the previous decade, which, judging by the second generation of NC Satnav, well, probably was. For about 35,000 euros, I'd like to have something more fitting the car's modern design. I do appreciate two cup holders on the center armrest, but the passenger will hit the drinks with his or her elbow. I also don't get this large, empty surface. I usually put my phone here, but it's probably not the safest place to keep anything. Lexus promises fuel consumption around 4.5 liters per 100 kilometers, regardless of whether we're in the urban, extra urban, or mixed cycle. Now, forget 4.5 liters, but 6, 6.5 is feasible if you stick to eco driving principle. So, life right foot and plan ahead. Compared to the IS250, which drinks more than 8.5 liters in the mixed cycle, the hybrid seems a very sensible choice indeed. A 2.5 liter engine and just 6.5 liters in the city? I mean, who needs a diesel when you can enjoy the sound of a petrol V6? Beep! Wrong! The IS250 has a V6 and the IS300H has a four-cylinder engine, which, thanks to the CVT gearbox, does this. Yeah, it does sound like a lawnmower, doesn't it? However, you can turn on the V8 sound. I kid you not. I just have to put it in sports mode and place this little switch here over my left knee. Hear that? I think what I want to say now rhymes with mucking bell. Regardless of the sound, in sports mode, the IS300 seems fast, but the IS250 is faster, at least from 0 to 100. It also has higher top speed and it is some 70 kilograms lighter than the 300H. BMW 320D is even lighter and faster, and it also uses around 6.5 liters in the mixed cycle. And like the Lexus IS300H, the Beamer also starts around 35 grand. 
The IS300H is pleasant enough to drive. The suspension soaks up all the bumps nicely. The car does roll rather heavily in tighter bends. However, you get nice response from the steering. However, the CVT, besides the sound, takes away control over your rear wheels. So if you like to do a slide every now and then, don't pick the IS with a CVT because the IS300H is quiet, efficient and comfortable. Lexus has created a bit of a schizophrenic car. On paper and in real life, this car looks like it could do a lot. However, in fact, all it can do is imitate the great Lexus ISF sounds. And this car, not so special. Shame.